Episode 5 of Televised Carnage pits Team Michigan against Team Miyazaki. First up, the Mad Martian brings forth his magnificent monstrosity experiment 626. This heavyweight bus has once again been given power slides through the gyroscope perk. Experimental nuclear engine and tank tracks turns this brick house into a decent driver by adding plus one to max gear and handling. Offensively, this bus is equipped with thumper, grenades, molotovs, and gas grenades to hopefully activate all the toys. It's also equipped with handguns and eight crew turning it into a mobile claymore. Mobile Mechanic will hopefully help keep 626 alive long enough to take out his slippery competitors. Next up, the Devilish Drifters, Team Miyazaki, led by Shadow. This performance car is going to drive circles around his heavyweight opponent with trick driving and restraint. Offensively, he is equipped with a turret mounted heavy machine gun to take advantage of his speed and shoot from afar. He's also equipped with armor plating, adding plus two to his hull points. His teammate Midnight is an all in damage dealing machine equipped with rockets. Rockets are the best can investment to damage dealing capability on any vehicle with two build slots. Rounding it out is a submachine gun and a mine dropper allowing him to deal a little extra damage when close and personal. The rules for Arena of Death are simple. The last team with active vehicles during any gear phase will be declared the winner. These seven turrets will activate and shoot the first vehicle that crosses within a medium distance of them during any gear phase. With the arena set up and both teams deployed, we will begin with turn one, gear phase one, and each vehicle selecting their first movement. Starting the action, Midnight is gonna launch a volley of rockets at 626, dealing four hull points of damage. Skirting the edge of the arena, Shadow is gonna exchange fire with one of the arena's turrets, dealing one hull point of damage and taking two himself. This will bring us to turn one, gear phase two, with 626 and Midnight closing in on each other. As Midnight closes with 626, he launches another volley of rockets, dealing three more hull points of damage before taking one point of damage from one of the arena's turrets. Finally closing in on his prey, 626 unleashes devastation with grenades, molotovs, and handguns, completely obliterating Midnight and dealing lethal amount of damage. As Midnight becomes a wreck, this vehicle's rockets explode, removing it from the table. 626 uses Mobile Mechanic to heal himself for one hull point. The action is limited in turn one gear phase three as both vehicles position for offense. The arena's turrets activate as 626 drives by, dealing two hull points of damage before he uses Mobile Mechanic. He then unleashes all of his handguns on one of the arena's turrets and takes it out. Shadow and the arena turret both miss each other before moving on to turn one gear phase four. Shadow continues to advance and positions himself to utilize his turret mounted heavy machine gun to deal three hull points of damage to 626 before taking one point of damage from one of the arena's turrets. Experiment 626 takes advantage of power slide and positions himself right in front of Shadow. Utilizing his grenades and handguns, he deals three hull points of damage to Shadow before healing himself for one with mobile mechanic. Activating the big gun, 626 uses Thumper, causing Shadow to fail his flip check and take a mandatory two hull points of damage and a medium straight forward. With an interrupted final position overlapping 626, Shadow is forced into a head-on collision with the heavyweight monster. In a head-on collision, both vehicles add up their current gears, giving us a total of eight attack dice before counting for weight class. Experiment 626 being one weight class heavier will get a total of 10 attack dice. Shadow, being one weight class lower, will get a total of seven attack dice. There was no way Shadow is gonna survive this head-on collision as he takes a lethal amount of damage. His only hope is to deal a lethal amount back, ending in a draw. Mobile Mechanic really was the saving grace for 626 as he is left with two hull points after the collision. With that, Experiment 626 is the last standing vehicle giving Team Mishkin the win. Congratulations on your stellar performance. That's it for episode five of Televised Carnage. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe for future episodes of Televised Carnage. If you have enjoyed my content, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps a small channel like mine grow.